everyone, Sophia here, my great challenge. Welcome back to my garden experiment series. I haven't done one and an update for quite some time. Actually, I think I'm just showing pictures on Facebook and Instagram of the crops and the vegetables we've been harvesting for the past month and a half or so. Today, I have work to do in the yard. I'm actually going to sow whatever I need for winter gardening or cold crops rather. That's all the chards and the uh, um, turnips and spinach and uh, collard greens um, you know all of this stuff maybe some cabbage we'll see I need to show you where we at with the garden experiment so let's go ahead I'm gonna give you a quick tour For those of you who are new to my channel, welcome and you are in healing time. This is my vegetable garden which I started uh, two years ago, uh, built the whole fencing here. I'm going to give you a tour in a second with the um, secret garden in the back and then this is the yard and things have been progressing very well i do need to work on the roses i haven't been in the yard in over a week <laughs> i've been very busy so here we go asters are starting to bloom uh, this is my pink piece that i absolutely need to deadhead at this point uh, this one is at the olympiad and look at how beautiful my John Paul II is and this one was chopped up by a deer at the beginning of the season and look at it now uh, lots of lots of new growth we have a apple tree here and actually apple season is coming so we have two apples they are pretty fairly young trees um, they're about four years five years old so we only got two of those uh, there's some weeding that needs to happen here the beans in the back did well but I let them dry so I can have uh, beans for next year and look at my corn I actually do have corn see I didn't plant it too late um, I followed whatever the calendar said and pretty much every stalk is going to give me an ear of corn or two so I'm pretty happy about that I give it another two weeks before I get some corn uh, over here it's starting to die off a little bit I have to plant this this is a um, what you would call it a, some kind of butterfly tree which I purchased on sale and I need to dig it up uh, here's my greenhouse that needs some cleaning as well and I put all my pots in here so I'm gonna do lettuce mostly in the winter in here and herbs are here I need to take the basil out um, got a lot of time lots of time like you can see I haven't been here for a while right um, this is sorrel these are zucchinis and they are still producing let me show you a little zucchini here I don't know if you can see it um, fig tree we've had figs for the past two weeks non-stop um, I would say we get about six to seven figs every week asparagus I need to plant it and these guys here the season is over these are all the daisies so that has to wait for November for me to chop it down let's go in the vegetable garden so I'm working a little bit late in the day uh, on purpose because it's been very hot actually today uh, these are the tiny tim tomatoes there's a lot of them i need to harvest today we got some bell peppers i need to harvest i'm sure it's backlit you probably can't see it um the flageolet beans again i let them dry so i can have uh, dried beans there's not a lot i was just doing an experiment here and tomatoes what i did was cut out most of the leaves and the branches that were not um, providing any kind of bloom or upcoming tomatoes so that they could focus on maturing and I'm going to harvest some as well today these are the regular green beans that I need to pick up you so that I removed all the peas pea season is over and this is a ginormous um, Kentucky blue pole bean and I do have to harvest quite 
quite a lot. I'm so behind on harvesting because we got so much bean this year. I didn't think we were going to have that many. Uh, that a lot of them are probably going to be very um, fibery. So before I do anything, I got to harvest all of that. Um, these roses did very well and then I cut them down a little bit. Here are the onions. Um, I think one of them is ready to be harvested and it's a big hot mess in here because I didn't think these were going to grow this big. Uh, these are the ones from my neighbor. Um, there's a little bit of everything here. I got to do some serious cleaning. You can tell I haven't been very diligent with the garden. I've been very, very busy and that's what happens. So that's the reason why I'm doing it step by step rather than just putting too much stuff I cannot process. So let me get a big bowl and start harvesting my tomatoes. Well, this is today's harvest, y'all. <laughs> we get plenty of uh, green beans. And yes, some of them are going to be way too starchy because I let them on the vine for too long. But I have a good uh, maybe two, three pounds worth of tomato and one bell pepper and lots and lots of beans. So guess what we're eating tonight? Probably beans and tomato sauce. So what I'm going to do now is rake the soil area here and expose the uh, dirt basically so that I can sow all of my uh, winter crop and then as I'm removing tomato plants and peppers and all of that I'll add rose. Uh, today I'm just going to do um, kale and collard greens. So actually what I did here was uh, expand it a little bit so I can have two rows and I realized I can't plant everything I want to plant so I'm going to plant the ones I really really must have and that would be uh, the kale, dwarf blue, curl kale and then uh, Swiss chard definitely 
turnip, collards and carrots. That's gonna have to wait for me to expand it a little bit more after I remove the peppers. So it's time to deadhead my roses and just like I showed you the last time I have a glass with alcohol and every time I cut I disinfect. And you're supposed to cut at the first uh, branch that has five leaves. And I'm not just deadheading. If I see a leaf or a branch that has a disease, I'm removing it as well. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if this is my favorite or not. So what I'm going to do here is remove the rosemary that's in the corner and I'm going to put my butterfly tree here instead.
Well, I'm done. Um, two hours, maybe? I gotta tell you, I need to stop because gnats <laughs> are getting me everywhere. There's gnats in New Jersey. They're horrendous. The tiny little things and um, they hurt. <laughs> they hurt. And then you itch for days. So anyway, I did accomplish quite a lot. I uh, um, harvested, I prepared a bed, I sowed uh, chards and dwarf kale, I cleaned up my roses, uh, I weeded the area over there by the um, corn, um, got rid of the excessive amount of basil that I have. Yeah, remember I got basil by the kitchen too, equally big, <laughs> so I got way too much basil. Uh, and it's kind of too late to harvest it. What are you doing? Come here. I, I, I got to uh, figure out something to keep him off the beds, but I don't know. Let him have fun, right? He's a beagle. This one over there, she doesn't like the grass at all. <laughs> she does. She really doesn't like to be in the garden. She's by the door most of the time. My God, you should see. Can you see that? Look at all these marks here. Anyway, um, I finally planted that butterfly bush before it totally dies. I mean, granted, it was already, like I said, it was already in bad shape by the time I got it, hence the reason why it was 50% off. Um, I didn't do the asparagus because I just watered them though. I have no idea where to put them. I got them on sale again, uh, six crowns. I was thinking about putting them in here, but I have a feeling they're gonna overgrow take too much room um, I don't know I may put them exactly where I have them right now um, actually that's where I put the pots there to get an idea and cleaned up the whole bed over there where the uh, thyme is I thatched the um, grass a little bit um, I've got to do a better job before the season is over before fall officially starts because I want to make sure that I got good grass next year. I have to do a uh, grass treatment uh, and that's about it. Um, Xenia, <laughs> what do you think? Is this garden experiment a success? For those of you who've been with me for a long time, you remember what the yard used to look like. Night and day, right? A total night and day. It's not for everybody, I get that. Some people like beautiful manicured, landscaped, kind of gardens. Me, I like stuff all over the place. I like to walk around and there's a rose next thing to it, there's a cabbage. <laughs> so that's the kind of garden that I like. Um, and which is kind of the way my mom's garden is. Like she's got tomatoes next to roses. And why not? Uh, the plants. Um, as long as they're not, you know, incompatible, you're fine. Anyway, um, hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to douse myself with calamine lotion and probably take a Benadryl um, <clears throat> end of the day is when the nuts come out plus I'm a gnat magnet anyway uh, I'm telling you if there's one mosquito left in the world it's for me you want to go no oh, my Electra is getting old yeah you're getting old baby I think she's got the beginning of a Friday so you're getting old she wants to go home Okay, yes, no, I'm not abandoning you. Okay, I see you too. Okay, yes, good boy. Okay, so I'm gonna go um, retire for the day, probably uh, take a quick shower and work on my blog. And I will see you next time. Thank you for watching, guys. Bye. Hey, it's me, and guess what? Click that thumbs up if you really like this video. Thumbs down twice if you didn't. You can also share my video if you really, really liked it or save it to watch later. Also, you can subscribe to my channel, but don't forget to click that bell button so you are always notified when I post a new video. Thank you for watching.